Well, liquor prices have gone up. The price change went into effect today after the decision was made by the Pennsylvania Liquor Control Board last year. Our Krista Rose has more on just how much prices are going up and what kind of products it's going to impact. On Sunday, the Pennsylvania Liquor Control Board raised prices by 4% on liquor, wine, and spirits for not only bars and restaurants, but in your local state-run liquor stores. Depending on the price of the liquor you purchase, the fee hike could range anywhere from 50 cents for a bottle to several dollars on your favorite adult beverage. The Pennsylvania Liquor Control Board says that this is the first time they've raised prices across the board since 2019, and they say the increase is due to record high inflation and to help offset operating costs, which have been increasing over the last four years. Mark Kelly of the LCB says that a 4% hike is fair. Right now, 4% is the right amount. Our team took a very long time to... Uh, look at what 4% means for our bottom line and what it means for our customers. We, we did not undertake this lightly. But some lawmakers are critical, like State Senator Mike Regan. Regan chairs the State Senate Committee responsible for the Liquor Control Board. He says the liquor monopoly in the state is what allows for such a large-scale price hike. This was a private business. The actual raising of prices would probably be the last thing that they would do. The first thing they would do would be try to cut their own costs and they would look at you know how they're how they're um, how they're staffed 16 other states control the sale of distilled spirits and in some cases wine and beer and in many of these states control boards were established just after the repeal of prohibition in the 1930s here in pennsylvania the agency is governed by a three-member board whose members were appointed by the governor and confirmed by a two-thirds majority of the state Senate. To get rid of state-run liquor sales, there would need to be a constitutional amendment passed by both the state Senate and House, and then it would have to go before voters as a ballot question. At this moment in time, an amendment doesn't seem likely, and little can be done about the spike in prices for state-run liquor.